Hi everybody, I'm Bea and welcome back to El Mundo Eats. Well, first of all, sorry that we didn't put any video last week. It's because we've been sick. Well, Marco got it first and I got it from him. Well, now we are slowly recovering and here we are with another new video for you. Well, anyway, today's recipe is something that you really want to make. It's an upgraded pecan pie. Okay, so you might wonder, what makes this recipe different from the classic pecan pie, right? Well, because I'm using wholesome and better ingredients which makes it healthier for you to enjoy. And guess what? This recipe doesn't use any corn syrup. You can see how gooey the filling is. We will divide this recipe into two, the crust and the filling. Let's start with the crust. I created this healthy version from my classic tart shell that you guys love so much. We're gonna start with our wet ingredients. One quarter cup melted coconut oil. If you have it in a solid state and melted it, just make sure to leave it cool a bit before you use it. You can also use any other oil like olive oil or avocado oil. Anything will work. Half teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 tablespoon milk at room temperature 1 large egg at room temperature 3 tablespoon coconut sugar Any dry sweetener will do, it's up to you Now just whisk until everything is well combined And here we have 1 and a half cup of spelt flour I'm using whole grain spelt flour because it's light and it's going to make our crust delicious I like to use spatula at this point because it's easier to get everything together. Just remember, we don't want to overwork the dough. Now that we have our dough, just sprinkle some more spelt flour to prevent our dough from sticking. I'm using a 9 inch pie pan so I want to roll the dough into a circle that's a bit bigger than that. Around 2 inches are enough. The extra dough is to make sure the dough can cover the side of the pan also. Here's a trick on how to lift up your dough without having it breaking and makes you go crazy. Just gently roll it around your rolling pin, place the pan underneath and gently unroll it. See? Easy. After that, just adjust here and there a bit and you're good to go. What I like to do is gently press the dough against the side of the pan to get that beautiful shape. Okay, so you have all this extra dough flapping around, right? No worries, just trim it off with a knife. There you go, a perfect looking pie crust. Now, just chill it in the fridge for half an hour. Okay, so after half an hour, this is what you want to do. Place your pan on a baking tray so that it'll be easier for you to move it around. You're going to blind bake the crust until it's half cooked. Blind bake is when you bake a crust without the filling. And this is how you do it. You want to sponge a piece of parchment paper. Make sure it's bigger than the size of your pan. And then just open it up and place it on top of the dough. Now add in some garbanzo and spread it all around. The garbanzo is used as weight to make sure the crust maintains its shape when you bake it. You can also use rice or any other type of legumes. Bake for 15 minutes in a printed oven at 350 Fahrenheit or 175 Celsius, conventional mode, lower to the rack. After 15 minutes, carefully remove the parchment paper together with the garbanzo. And let's continue with our filling. Directly add two and a half cup of pecan on the crust. Pecan, pecans, whatever works for you. Spread it out evenly and set aside. And on with the filling. Half cup of coconut sugar. Again, any dry sweetener will do. Two tablespoons of whole grain spelt flour. 
this small amount of flour is what's going to help the filling set so don't skip it 1 teaspoon of cinnamon since the spelt flour tends to get lumpy so let's whisk everything good at first okay continue three large eggs at room temperature one tablespoon vanilla extract one cup maple syrup yes we are replacing corn syrup with this it tastes way much better anyway whisk everything good and that's all pour on our pecan and bake at the same temperature for 30 minutes we love the filling to be gooey, so delicious. But if you like it more set, then continue baking for another 5 to 10 minutes. If you love pecan, you should check out my classic pecan pie cheesecake bars video. Thanks for watching, guys!